Welcome back citizens for pack 8 issues 33 to 38 of build the iconic 1966 Batmobile from Fan Home. For issue 33 we'll assemble and attach the right rear suspension. First fix the rear right leaf spring onto the post on the rear axle making sure the longer side faces outward from the rear axle housing. Place the shock absorber mount over it and secure with one EM screw. Insert the two U-bolts through the shock absorber mount and fasten each one with two nuts each. Secure the shock absorber rod to the shock absorber mount with one EM screw. For stage 34 we'll continue the rear suspension. First secure the left spring hanger to the front of the rear left spring with one AJM screw. I find if you pre-screw it it's easier to fit. Do the same on the other side with the right spring. Now take the first rear hanger and attach it to the rear of the left spring using one of the U-bolts. Slot the two pins through the shackle with the narrower edge facing the rear axle and secure with two more nuts. Now repeat this for the right hand side. Take the two shock absorber springs and slot them onto the end of the two shock absorber rods. Retrieve the chassis and push the two shock absorber rods into the shock absorber mounts. Secure with four EM screws. Also, secure from underneath with two more EM screws. For stage 35, we'll build the gears for the steering mechanism and attach the assembly. First, insert the gear into the steering gear housing. Then place the worm gear into the housing. Make sure that the placement of the ends of the sector and worm matches as per instructions. This is important as the front wheels won't turn if it's not on correctly. Next, place the steering gear housing on top and secure with two AM screws. Now secure the joint to the end of the gear with two ZM screws. Then use two more ZM screws to fix the steering shaft joint. Take the assembly and fix it to the chassis with two AM screws and one underneath. For stage 36 we'll assemble the drive shaft and connect the gearbox. First secure the universal joint to the centre support using two AP screws. Then fit the rear drive shaft to the universal joint with two more AP screws. Slot the drive shaft bearing onto the end of the centre support bearing. Then Place the end of the centre support bearing onto the bracket. Cover this with the front drive shaft part and secure with two AP screws. Now attach another universal joint to the end of the front drive shaft with two more AP screws. Fit the universal joint to the slip yoke at the end of the gearbox with two AP screws. Then secure the universal joint at the other end to the spider joint with another two AP screws. For stage 37 we get the very large floor pan. Place the floor pan onto the chassis and secure with 12 CM screws. You can see where the speaker and switch will sit. For stage 38 we get the seat pan. Place the seat pan onto the floor pan and secure it in place with 10 CM screws. And that's it for pack 8. Fairly straightforward and a very nice mug came with this delivery too. I emailed Fan Home during the week asking them to stop the binders and magazines as they are unnecessary seeing as they published them on their site. They have stopped the binders but they said they can't stop the magazines. Fair enough, but once again I have suggested to them that they start offering a no frills package. No magazines, no binders, no gifts, although the mug is nice. Just the parts and a 12 month subscription, like Agora models do. Hopefully they take it on board. If you want the bells and whistles, fine, but personally I just want the parts. But anyway, that's it for another pack, hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs>
If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below, along with the notification bell. Also, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Thank you.